once the architectural file was shared now we can we can go ahead and and and, and explore the document management to see what changed here and as we see here the the, the architectural team this file was updated and under the share file it is a new thing now if we go before it was empty because any package was created and now if we click under the team architecture uh, you will see the architectural project that was shared so this is basically uh, as far as i understand is a snapshot of of the model at that time when you created the package that can be updated under the furniture team we see nothing yet because they haven't created any any package so let's go let's go to the to our other user mode and let's become the furniture team for a minute and as we see here you know, under the file the project file uh, section they don't have a plan section because he's just an, a user part of the team he's not an admin and you can see that the architectural project is here now we're gonna go to to Revit to see uh, what else can we do now since the, the architectural file was shared with the furniture team so we are back in Revit as part of the furniture team and we can see uh, we're gonna try to see if we can we can open the shared file that was shared under the architectural team there is no models in this project so it means that you they shared the file but you're not able to open it uh, you don't have the rights to open so let's open our our model the furniture model and since this is empty the whole purpose was to to try to bring the the architectural model as a link so let's go ahead and try to insert that model so let's go to Revit manage links Revit and we're gonna try to go to the share folder under the team arc we'll see that the architectural model becomes available so it's somehow smart it knows that you have the rights to import that link but it also knows that you don't have the rights to to open that file and be able to to edit the file from from a team that you don't belong to so let's click OK and we we see our our linked architectural architectural model here as a link so let's let's go ahead and drop a component here let's drop a desk a couple of desks my first row of desks and and let's uh, synchronize okay synchronization was done now let's go back to our BIM 360 docs so here we are as a leader of the furniture team I want to go to design collaboration and also make my model available for other teams so we're gonna expand this part notice we only have access to this I cannot access this we we see that architectural team shared the model on this day at this time and uh, so now I'm gonna head and create my own package but before I want to make sure I want to make sure this is up to date so there's something to update I'm gonna click here so now our model is up to date I want to remind you that I'm using the the team furniture I'm now a user of the team uh, furniture so now that the file is up to date I want to go ahead and create the package and share it with the with the rest of the people we can see and explore the how how the the model looks like now so we have the link file and we are, have our desks that we place in our model and again we didn't share any sets so it's just a 3d view and and the model itself so again let me change the time here this is just 
a convention that I just came up with but you can do whatever you can do CD set DD set or whatever and let's save it now notice that I am not able to to share the to share this 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 package because I don't have sufficient permissions so I'm gonna go back to my to to my admin mode and we're gonna see that when we assign this user to this team he he had only view and edit permissions so I am in admin mode right now and we're gonna go to project admin under the services tab we're gonna go to design collaboration and under the furniture team we're gonna manage team members and we see that we only gave this user permission to edit and not to share so keep in mind that you should have at least one person on others team I mean it depends on how the work the workflow uh, is on your on your team uh, if you prefer just admins to do that or you want to have a assign one person to have all the permissions uh, you know full permission level to do to be able to share files as well so we're in this case we're gonna just change the ability to share to the ability to share uh, files as well I mean share packages I'm sorry I'm learning as as you do here so it's new stuff so let's go back to the user on the next video we're gonna see how this changes as we change um, permissions to this user